first heard about the opportunity of doing a TED Talk, my initial thought was that I would come here to do a TED Talk on something everyone likes. I thought that I should brainstorm ideas of what I could do. I thought that the best way to have a good TED Talk was to talk about something relatable. But then again, there's so many things that we could all relate to, like for example, how we all eat because we're bored, or our procrastination is on the But then I thought that I should do a TED Talk on something I've been through, like personal experiences. After staying up for two nights trying to settle down on a good topic for my TED Talk, I came to the conclusion that I should talk about something that everyone should hear. I decided that I should talk about something that may have little to no value today, but is the sole foundation of our future. Today, I'm here to talk about teenagers. When someone first mentions the word teenager, the first thing that probably comes to someone's mind is a young adolescent who probably doesn't care about school, practically lives in their phone, eats instant noodles for survival, and is married to Netflix. And at first, yes, it may sound a little funny, but when you really think about it, it's a little degrading. Being a teenager myself, I can say that being a teenager is actually a full-time job on its own. And I've heard many people say that being a teenager in today's time is a blessing, which in a sense is, but to what extent? See, being a teenager in today's time comes with its own pros and cons, but sometimes for some of us, those cons outweigh the pros. With the lifestyle and facilities we're provided today, you would expect every teenager to be happy, and basically you would expect them to be living their best life. But sadly, that's not the case for all of us. Let me give you an example. If you were to ask the teenagers in this room how their day went, at least half of them would say, it could have been better. Now, a lot of you are probably like, what do you mean it could have been better? What mountains did you move in a day? The truth is, teenagers do more on a daily basis than what meets the eye. Statistics show that more than 50% of the teenagers today tend to be stressed all the time. Now, you're probably wondering, what do you mean all the time? It doesn't look like it. Yes, I know. And that is the problem. You can't tell that we're stressed because we're unable to show it. At home, at school, at work, we cannot show that we are stressed. We're afraid that no one is going to care about what we're thinking, what we're feeling, or what we're trying to say. We're afraid that we're going to be attacked for feeling quote unquote depressed. We find it best to silence ourselves just so that the people around us could be satisfied. And this is one of the main reasons why many teenagers like me pile up all of our stress into our small bodies and often tell ourselves things like, you know what, I'll get sleep on the weekend, but I have to stay up to finish it tonight. Now the teenagers you see didn't come into the world like this. They've actually grown into such characters. And as we all know, every story has a main character who is influenced by someone or something else at one point or another in their life, which shapes their being. Just like that, the teenagers of today are influenced by many, many things on a daily basis. One thing that is contributing to the shattering state of teenagers today is stereotypes. Now, you're probably like, how do stereotypes affect teenagers out of all the people in this world? Let me explain. You see, for example, today, an imposing stereotype that exists is that teenagers spend all of their time on social media watching useless things, being unproductive, and losing brain cells. But the truth is that if the people who believe so heavily in the stereotype, if they were to be a teenager in today's time just for one day, they understand the reality of being a teenager. The only reason we are on our phones is because we're afraid that if we put our phones down, we'll be afraid for, we'll be attacked for something like our grades, our room being messy, us not giving you our undivided attention, or us just trying to make ourselves feel better after a long day at school. We're afraid that if we step out of the comfort of our homes, which you call phones, we'll have to face the worries of the world. But then again, what worries would a teenager have? Out of the long list of worries, one thing that teenagers of today are afraid of is not being heard. We're afraid of being told that we're too young to be worrying about the things we're worrying about. And as a lot of people have told me, yes, we have a long life ahead of us, but how much of that life is actually ours? Being a teenager, I'm sure many of you can agree that you don't always get what you want. And at times, it's not because what you ask for, well, it's, at times, it's not because what you ask for is irrelevant. It's rather that your voice is not heard. 
Going back to the question I asked earlier, I asked how much of our life is actually ours? You see, it seems as if we're living our own life the entire time, but in reality, at one point or another, we do begin living in a story someone else writes for us. We think as if the things we're saying, the choices we're making, the things we're doing are for ourselves, but in reality, they are under the influence of and for someone else. Teenagers have the most extraordinary ideas in their minds, but will we ever get to know all of them? Perhaps not. Look at the people around you. They're almost the same age as you, but do you know what they want to become? Do you know what they believe in? Do you know how they wish to change the world? Again, probably not. And it's because you've never heard them talk about these things, but it's not that they don't want to talk about these things, it's because they can't talk about these things. They're afraid that society is going to ridicule them for talking about things like stopping global warming, using metal straws, lowering student debts, or simply giving students the rights they deserve. Is this a problem for teenagers today? Absolutely. But does it have to be a problem for the teenagers of tomorrow? Absolutely not. If the teenagers of today decided to take a stand for themselves and voice themselves, then we can do so much more than simply exist on this earth. But before we do so, we must understand that although we blame society, we ourselves are society. The people sitting in this very room today are the society of tomorrow. So if the teenagers here and those around the world decided that they were going to stand up for themselves, whether for their rights, whether it's against their parents, their schools, their governments, their politicians, or whatever it may be. The, gen the generation of tomorrow will most likely be the generation of prosperity, where unlike today, every teenager will be allowed to be who they want to be. For those of you who know me, out of the list of people that I admire, one of them is Kim Min Joo. And the reason I admire this man so much is because I believe that he is a living example of what the leaders of tomorrow could be. A movement he and his fellow band members have begun is a movement that encourages people to come out and love themselves, accept themselves, and speak themselves. It is a movement that encourages people to come out and share their story of where they're from, who they've been, who they are, and who they wish to become. You see, teenagers may make up 13% of the world's population today, but they make up 100% of tomorrow's. So imagine a world where you know everyone around you and what they have to say. Imagine a world where we can all share our ideas. Imagine a world where you and I are free to speak ourselves. Imagine a world where you and I matter. Imagine a world where teens matter. I've never had any huge extraordinary ideas, but I'm here to share one with you today. I want to start a movement called Teens Matter where all teenagers can come out and voice themselves, where every teenager can come out and share their stories, where we all come together to build upon the unique ideas we all have, where we all come together to share our hopes, our wishes, our visions to make this world a better place, where we can all come together to construct a future not only for ourselves, but for those to come after us. I'll end off with a small reference and a little quote. So now I'll end up a small quote and a little message. One of my favorite songs of all time is Paradise by Bangkok Nilan, or otherwise known as BTS. And the reason I like this song so much is because I believe it's a song that we can all learn from. I'd like to share my favorite part of the song with you today. The lyrics say, who said the dream must be something grand? Just become anybody. We deserve a life, whatever big or small. Because you are you, after all. So. Now I urge all of you to pursue your dreams, whether they're big or they're small, because a dream is a dream no matter what. So whether your dream is to become a makeup artist, an architect, a YouTuber, a vlogger, a singer, a rapper, a poet, a doctor, an engineer, an activist, or whatever it may be, pursue that dream. Listen to the stories of others and tell the world about your story. Live freely and remember that you matter, for in the end, you are you, I am I, and together we are the future.